grace came not only to save us, but also to teach us the culture of the kingdom of God. Hence, we must wait in the grace of God and let him impact our lifestyle for his glory. Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. And thank God for another day and another opportunity we begin to devote ourselves to him and give him honor and praise and celebrate the grace of God that was given to us freely through Jesus the Christ. Trust you're doing well. And trust you me today. If there's any need in your life, the grace of God has already supplied. Let's receive and honor God. Our meditation today comes from Titus 2, 11 and 15. For the grace of God had appeared, bringing salvation to all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age waiting for our blessed hope the appearing of the glory of our great god and savior jesus christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify himself a people for his own possession who are zealous for good works Declare these things, exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man disregard you. The word of God to the people of God. So much action in that text. And grace is the foundation for all that our living should be. And grace is sufficient to help us. According to 2 Corinthians 5, verse 14 and 15, it is the love of Christ that should constrain us not to live to self, but rather live for Christ. And here's what Paul says. The love of Christ controls us because we know that one person died for everyone so all have died he died for all so that those who live would not continue to live to themselves he died then and was raised from the dead so that we would live for him the word of God to the people of God. Without this effect, grace was received in vain. So today, let's seek to live our lives through the grace of God. Let's wait in Him to teach us and let's follow Him in our lifestyle even today. Father, we thank you for grace, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. We praise you as we recommit and we dedicate and say grace, lead us. Grace, teach us. Help us not to conform to this world, but that we be transformed by the renewal of our minds. And grace teaches us and we can deny ungodliness and worldly lust. We can live sober. We can live righteous. We can live godly in this present world. So we commend ourselves to you as believers. We commend those who lead the nations, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament, their families. We commend the medical professionals, those who lead in education. We commend the body of Christ. We thank you for those who lead in law enforcement. 
we pray grace upon us even now. Thank you for the peace of Jerusalem, for families everywhere, every home we command grace to even today, to meet every need, to turn situations around, to heal the sick, to raise those who are afflicted. We command to you today, and we say thank you for grace. Thank you for grace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you today. Keep you. Preserve you in the grace of God. Knowing that His grace is sufficient. Not just only to save us, but to teach us. To cause us to learn the culture of the kingdom of God. So that our lives may pattern the life of Christ. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.